What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best longbow in the entire game. And also the second best longbow as well because it's got lower requirement stats, which I'll talk about in a moment at the end of the video. And we'll go over the best bow for what stats you want to be using and so on. So firstly, I'm going to show you where to get the U longbow, which does 77 damage, which is the most in the game. It also has a weight of three. Secondly, I'm going to be showing you where to get the Ash longbow, which does 74 damage, but has much lower stat requirements for only three less damage, so it's pretty damn good. Now there's actually going to be a treasure map connected to this location. I thought it'd be fun for me to show you where that treasure map is first, in case you've either already found it or you wanna try and find this treasure yourself. So I'm here in between Ledechko and Sasol, which is just here. In between these two towns, you'll see that there's a river and if you follow the path on the way in between them, you'll find this mill here. So we're going to head over to this mill right now, which is just down the road here. And watch out, because there are a few bandits that like to lurk along this path. So do take Stop. care. But the treasure map is actually very hidden away. Usually I find the treasure maps that are hidden within the shops are quite easy to get. Simply because at one point in the game, you're probably going to speak to that merchant and find the treasure chest. But this one, let me get my torch out, is actually hidden in the rafters of this mill. So unless like you're really exploring, you're really not going to find this treasure map very easily. Um, and personally, I do like to explore a lot. So if we cross over here, you'll find the treasure map. Treasure map one, in fact, on this barrel just here. So grab that. If you guys want um, a full walkthrough of where all the treasure maps are, check out the video link in the description. There is something called ancient treasure maps, which you actually get when you pre-order the game. Um, and though if you haven't pre-ordered the game, you won't get the treasure maps, but the treasure chest box still exists in the game. So if you follow my video, you can just go to the locations and still unlock the treasure. But for now, let me show you this treasure map. Here we are, treasure map one. Let's read it. So that is clearly Sassar Monastery. And it looks like here, if we head northwards into the forest, we're going to find a couple of houses where X marks the spot. So if I show you on the map now, Sassar Monastery is just here. We saw the river running north to south on the map. And then apparently we follow this path here and directly northwards, there should be a village just here, which has the treasure in. So I'm going to put my map marker there and now we're going to go and find it. Right guys, so here you can see Sassal Monastery. If I look on the map, I'm looking directly at it here. I'm by this big tree. I'm now gonna head directly north into this forest here. And we should find that secret village. Now, as you guys run up here, if you guys follow the same direction I'm going, you will come across a bandit campsite that's hidden in the tree line on the right hand side here. Just there, you can kind of see it. Let me have a closer look as we ride past. You can see it just there. These bandits are pretty well equipped in some very decent armor. So as soon as you grab this bow, I recommend going and just kill, killing them. Especially if you've got some piercing arrows, you can do a ridiculous amount of damage with this bow. I'll show you guys in the map again in a minute, but as you can see, we've walked up on these two houses. So I'm just here on the map on the border of this forest. I mean, it's pretty easy to find. You probably won't get lost. Okay, so we've got a cave apparently in this house. I don't know if there's anything in this other house. Let's have a quick look around just to see if there's any other treasure hiding about. If you guys have been following my walkthrough, you'll know that like there are some quests that you can do that lead you to treasure that's just hidden underground and it's not even marked on your map. Can I get in here? Now, for some reason, guys, my character won't actually fit through the front door. Uh, so I'm going to get on my horse, because for some reason this works. And I'm going to ride my horse in, and now I can be in here for some reason. So I'm going to dismount. This treasure map is so well hidden, by the way. But as you guys can see, if you walk around, there's like a bush just here. My horse is now in the way. Fantastic. And now we're going to go through this bush here. And as you guys can see, there's like a secret ladder. So let's use this ladder. 
and go into this hidden cave. It's a pretty awesome secret location. It's a pity that I can't fit through the door, though. Oh, wow. I also can't walk down here. Okay, there we go. I got past. There is some dead guy who looks like he's just been crushed by this falling beam. Oh, my God. That is brutal. But in here, we're going to find the locked chest, which is a hard chest. Now, guys, they've actually updated the lockpicking to make it much easier in patch 1.3. Uh, in my opinion, it was already quite doable if you had a higher lock picking skill. But um, right here, we can see the sweet spot is on the outside of this ring. That's going to make it a lot harder. So we're going to exit out and we're going to go and try and lock pick it again. And now the sweet position is going to change. And this one's a bit closer to the center. But you can't even get it as close as this, which is ideally where you want it if you're not good at lock picking. But this is fine. So I'm just going to use this sweet spot here. We're going to slowly rotate it while keeping it in the sweet spot. There we go. We've unlocked it. So now we open it and you can see the U longbow, the best longbow in the game. 77 damage, only a weight of three. The longbow is the best and deadliest weapon medieval bow makers came up with. But not just anyone is able to handle one. Most of all, it needs a strong, steady arm. And as you guys can see, it requires a minimum strength of 15 and a minimum agility of 10. Now, the other bow I'm about to show you has less requirements to use it. But if you guys want to level up your character so you can use this, I've got the fastest leveling guide linked down below in the description, which you can follow. And you can max out all your character stats in literally 10 minutes. It's super easy and fast to do. Uh, you can actually do that at the very start of the game as well. So we're going to grab that. We've also got Who Needs a Key, a skill book on lockpicking, ironically in a hard locked chest. Recipe for Antidote, which is a very useful one indeed. Odd Dice, very useful for playing dice with because it lands on odd numbers. Noble Dark Shoes and 400 or 350 Groshen. And some extremely good plate <laughs> legs there. Okay, right. So let's get out of here. And now I'm going to show you where to get the next one, guys. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck is going on? Uh, okay, let's try and use this ladder again. <laughs> wow, okay. I can't actually get out. Am I actually stuck in here? As soon as I go beyond this step, my character just falls down into this hole. Can I fast travel out? This is so ridiculous. You can't fast travel from this location. So my character is stuck in this pit. No wonder this guy's dead. He probably killed himself because he also could not escape this mine shaft. I've already spoken to the developers about this bug, so I assume they'll fix it. But just be cautious before you guys come down here before patch 1.3. So guys, this next place I'm going to show you is in a grave. It doesn't require any lock picking at all. And this is the second best bow in the game. And it still does a lot of damage. And I'll show you both of them in a moment. So here we have the monastery. This is where we found the last treasure chest. Samapesh is just over here. You want to come to the left of Samapesh and then work your way north as soon as you hit the river until you reach these crossroads. And it's not hard to miss, which is why I haven't shown you properly. You know, like you've got these giant cliffs in front of you. You can't miss it, okay? Um, but as soon as you get over here, I'll show you in a moment, but there's a little bridge. And there's just this like random sort of farmhouse building. And I'll show you that in a second as soon as we get there. So here's that bridge and there's the farmhouse no, 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 There's the farmhouse building just in front of us. Okay, so let's get off our horse here. Now usually there's no one home, but let's just have a quick check. Now, there is definitely no one here. I've never actually seen anyone walking around this location, but it's considered to be an interesting site for some reason but if you walk around the back here you will actually find there is a hidden grave behind the house so i assume you know its residents died or something so let's hop over this fence here and somewhere around here you'll be able to say start digging just in the bottom right there well actually you can't see it but it says start digging my face is in the way there we go. So let's dig up this grave because I'm an absolute savage pillaging people's corpses for my own good. And there's a box here. So let's open this. There's an ash longbow. 
Decorated Riding Boots, 222 Groschen, Magdeburg Curus, which is worth 2,400, Necklace Odd Dice, another one, and Who Needs a Key, Book 5. So now you guys can smash up that lockpicking skill so you can unlock that hard chest. But the Ash Longbow is the real reason we're here. It does 74 damage. So I'm actually just going to loot this stuff. And now we're going to compare these two bows because they're pretty damn awesome. So as you guys can see, here we have the U Longbow. 77 damage with a weight of 3. If we have a look at its requirements though, it requires 15 strength and a minimum of 10 agility. Which are actually quite high stats, even though it's very easy if you use my leveling method to get these stats so you can use this bow. Its power is 77, however. So bear in mind, 15 and 10. Now let's look at the Ash Longbow, which has 74 damage. So it's basically the same amount of damage almost, other than the fact it's not the best. It, however, only requires a minimum strength 13 and a, min and a minimum agility of 7, which is 3 less agility and 2 less strength. So it actually has lower requirements and it only does 3 less damage. So it's pretty damn good considering. In my opinion, Capon's Hunting Bow is actually the best bow in the game for its power to its requirement ratio. So it only requires 5 strength and agility yet it does 54 damage, which is much better than the equivalent you get at that kind of sort of damage level. If you also want to know where to get the best sword and the best armor and shields and so on, I'll link my guides down below in the description below so you can follow them and get all of the best equipment in the game. And guys, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and also press that little bell icon there because then YouTube will notify you when I come out with more Kingdom Come Deliverance guides. I'm going to be doing a series of videos where we go and find all the secret interesting locations in the game, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching me, ESO, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's Let's Play episode. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.